Nation, and welcome to the Raider Homer Super Fan Show, Episode 8. In this week's episode, we are going to hear from the Raider's voice. The Raider's voice is a prime example of the power of the dark side. The Raider mystique has captivated us all. It spread from the field, to the fans, and out into the world. Like a black hole, we consumed us all. The Raider mystique will even raid other fan bases. Roaring wayward fans, rescuing them from lesser fan bases. We all know how infectious the love for the Raiders is. Whether you got it from your parents or it got you because of the rich history of the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders have inspired us all. We all want to voice our opinions about the Raiders and we all want our opinions heard loud and clear. Luckily, diehard fans like the Raiders Voice put in the hours it takes to bring the Raider Nation content that isn't a slave to the mainstream media and provides a platform for the Raider Nation. So make sure you continue to support the Raiders Voice and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Remember, the greatness of the Raiders is in the future, so make sure you support your upstart Raider content creators. Oh, and if you can find the SBCT Easter egg in this video, I will donate $100 to the Silver and Black of Central Texas Toy Drive in your name. Thanks for watching, Raider Nation, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up, Raiders boys? How are you today? Pretty good, man. Just chilling. Chilling, huh? Chilling, chilling. Yes, sir. How's the weather over there? Uh, weather is good, actually. Yeah, it's pouring weather rain. It's awesome. Right? It's pouring rain in Texas. I heard, I heard, man. <laughs> we need to move out over here in, in uh, Tucson. Nah, brother, if I move anywhere, it's going to be to Las Vegas. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I, my brother and I, we've actually been thinking about getting a, like, a little place. Because, you know, I want to get all my cars to have a, a Vegas place. But you yeah. got to be a resident, so. So we're thinking of getting like a little condo. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. I was thinking about getting... Up, man. Everything's going... To, yeah, sorry. No, go so, ahead. Oh, uh, prices are going crazy, man. I know, I know some people over there are telling me that uh, around the area of Henderson, the, the prices of, of properties are sky, skyrocketing. Because obviously, you know, they know the Raiders are going over there. Yeah. And then the facility is going to be, the Raiders facility is going to be in Henderson, so. Yeah, that's yeah, where, I, I mean, hurry up. I was thinking about buying a duplex over there. I know, man, but... We should have done that like two years ago. <laughs> right now, right now. Right when we found excited. that, right? Yeah, yeah man. Even as years just to flip it, but uh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. So even if I don't end up getting a place, uh, I know a couple people over there that can probably cook me up with their address, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna black out all my cars, man. Seriously. That's cool. Oh so, uh, yeah. yeah. Murder them out. Yeah, all blacked out, man. Yeah. Gotta represent. <laughs> no matter where you go. Hell yeah. Every good, day man. I'm wearing something with good fucking Raiders on it. I know, man. Anything Raiders. Yeah. You know, Every at day. one point, all my wardrobe was black. All black. But then I got <laughs> I got married and then the wife said, Hell no, you can't have all the Raiders. <laughs> and black stuff. Everything was black, you know? Yeah. Black and silver, black and silver, black and silver. Oh, silver and black, you know? Let's go. Let's go and get fresh stuff. And so, yeah, but that's how it's, that's how it's, uh, that's what's going on. That's good, man. Well, yeah, thanks for man. coming on, man. I know you're busy with your channel, so, you know, I appreciate your time. Yeah, it's so good, man. Uh, you know, I always have time for, for Raider Nation, you know. Hell but yeah. Even if I'm busy, I, I always try to make some time. That's good, you know, dude. We, you gotta, we gotta stay united. We gotta, you know, we gotta help each other out and... And you know you you want to do what you what somebody else you you know will do it for you. Right. The support but, uh, from the Raider yeah, Nation man. is amazing, dude. It is, man. You know what's the difference between the Raiders and, and any other team in the NFL? The fan base. The feeling of yes, <laughs> the, the you know what the feeling of family, man. Like yeah. if I see a Raider, if I see a Raider on the street and, and I know that guy's a Raider, automatically you feel like that guy like he re 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 relates. Yeah, like family member. Like he's your cousin from far, far away. <laughs> yeah, you always yeah. uh, yeah, have man. something to talk about, you know. That's for sure. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And then it's just gonna get it's just gonna get better, you know. As, as soon as we start winning more games, so. Oh yeah, winning cures everything. I'm excited. I'm excited, man. Business is booming. 
Hell yeah. We're getting players like every single day. I'm, I, it's hard for me to keep up with names, man, because you're in the game. He's not effing around, you know. He's he's going to work. He's in the mail. Yeah. So. They're doing a great job, you know. It was, uh, I'm, I'm surprised. At first, I was a little skeptical of, uh, the Mayock signing, you know. I thought, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of star power, you know. But, man, they are knocking it out of the park. Honestly, getting Mayock, when I first saw it on the news, I was like, that's a great move, man. You know, why they didn't do this before? But obviously, the media, you know, they always want to, you know, uh, talk trash about the Raiders and say that. Oh, yeah, that's why that I don't pay attention. Move. Yeah. yeah, so I, I try to ignore that, but I, I think it's a great move. I think that uh, Mayock had to do a lot with uh, getting AB. Um, oh, yeah. Because, you know, he knows a lot of people, and he's uh, he looks like a top guy, man. Stuff is, uh, is Gruden, so, you know, he, oh, yeah. he didn't want to give up a first round or a second round, and so he ended up getting AB for a third round and a bag of chips. Oh, yeah. So that's, yeah. that's a great deal. <laughs> Hell yeah. Seriously, man. We, we, they gave it away. They gave it away pretty much. So we score there big time. So I'm happy about that. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be a great season. I think we're going to go like 10 and 6. I'm going to say 10 and 6 with a wild card burst, you know? And we'll see what you happens. Know what? You read my mind. Honestly, when I saw that AB was going to Oakland, I said 10 wins. I don't know if that 10 wins is going to be enough for, you know, for, you know, to get to the playoffs. Because, you know, the, the Chiefs and Chargers are, are, are loaded, but. I think 10 wins are, it, it's viable, I think it, it's doable. So we'll see, man. Oh, it's yeah. Just, it's just exciting. It's exciting. It's, it's good to be a Raider. Always good to be a Raider. Hell yeah. All always. Right. Always. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Now, you're a very well-traveled Raider fan. Tell us how you ended up in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, okay, well... I end up in Tucson, Arizona because uh, my wife used to live here. And I used to live in San Diego. Uh, I was born in Mexico and moved, moved to San Diego when I was like 17. Lived there for 20 years. So I was, I was a Raider fan in, in enemy, enemy country. <laughs> but I still love my team, man. That's, a, that's another story I got to tell you. Well, I mean, I'm from but, Texas, uh, so you know I got a lot of hell for being a Raider fan. Do you get a lot of crap from, like, Texans and, like, Cowboys? Oh, yeah. I just give them the middle finger and talk shit back, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're like, hey, you're talking shit to me. Raider so, Nation so for I life. San yeah, Raider, yeah, Raider Nation, man. So I, I lived there in, in uh, San Diego for 20 years. Then uh, I decided to move to Tucson because, you know, she was a native of Tucson. And I love it, man. It's Honestly, it's, it's cheaper and weather's good and, you know... I like it. I like it. It's not a lot of traffic. Not as crazy as in California. Don't get me wrong. I love California. You know, we have the good weather. We have the, you know, the ocean and other stuff. But you know, I can always go and visit. So yeah. And I've been here for three years, man. It's all now. What, huh? what will happen in the future, man? I'll end up moving to your town. <laughs> nah, man. Don't come to we'll Austin. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, you, you don't want to come to Austin, man. Traffic is terrible over here. Traffic is terrible? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about leaving, you know. Might wow. as well. Might wish. Since the Raiders are moving, maybe I'll just, just move. Too. Yeah, maybe I'll just go visit and then move out oh, a yeah. couple days later. All right, cool. But All right. anyway, man, so that's, that's where I end up in uh, Tucson, Arizona. All right, cool. All right. Most diehard fans are content with just joining a booster club, going to tailgates, or just going to games. What made you want to become a voice for the Raider Nation? I'll tell you what. Uh, many years ago, many years ago, I would say maybe like ten years ago. And you, you know, you you you're not, you're going to confirm this. Okay. There was like nothing going on, man. Uh, like uh, regarding regarding to the Raiders. The media has got a vendetta on the Raiders. Everybody knows it. I remember that, uh, you know, as a Raider fan, you would want to, like, look for, for, for footage or information or, or any of those big channels, you know, talking about the, your team. Right. And nothing was going on. Nothing was going on for a long time. There yep. was, I don't, so, uh, so I don't know what the deal was there. Even 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 on Raider games, if I, were, if I was lucky to watch one on, on live TV, 
if there was like five minutes left on the game, sometimes they would just cut off the game, just like that, and, and start a different game. So for me, it was very disrespectful, you know, and so, you know, uh, Raider Central, uh, you know, Mikey, you know Mikey from Raider Central? That was my TV. That was my Raider content back in the day. And so for years, I watched, I watched him progress, you know, and, and, and you know, show up for the, for their team and, and and I was getting informed from him and obviously online and stuff. So that, he was my TV for many, many years. And then after that, you know, now that, that the Raiders are getting more popular, obviously there's more content and there's more podcasts and there's more more or everything. Like like never before. It's but, pretty badass. <laughs> it's pretty badass. I love it man. Yeah. But I I see that in, in certain certain channels and certain shows, the Raider Nation cannot voice their feelings. I, I see a lot of restriction. I see I see that you know a lot of people in the chat have a, a, an opinion, but you know your host cannot read every single chat, so so their opinions go to waste, and then you know, and then and then some people get frustrated. So, you know, a lot of people want to, you know, uh, avoid their, their opinions and their feelings about their team, and they want to be heard. So then I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I could come out with something a little bit, a little bit different than what other shows are out there, where it, it's a platform for Raider Nation, it, you know, that where they have the freedom to speak up. It's going to be a, a, it's going to be a non-censored uh, show. So. You know, if you want to come, you know, call and talk about, let's say, Khalil Mack, and you're frustrated, you know, you're open to talk about whatever you want, however you want it, for as long as you want it. So, so then, that's that's what made me feel, because um, in my experience, I've been to other shows and try to like speak up or ask a question, and I've been I've been cursed out, I've been yelled at, I've been blocked. So it makes me feel like like you know. You're not respecting my rights because if you think about it, as a as a fan, Raider fan, or as a fan in in, in general, you have you like you have your you have a right because you're a fan. Like if you're mad at a, at the team, you, you know you, you want to trust. If you're frustrated, you want to show it. You want to you want to tell somebody that you don't like what is going on. I'm just saying, you know, on the on the on the flip side of the coin, if you're you know if the team is doing good. Then you want to speak up and, and 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 shout and be happy about it and, and and be excited and show everybody you know the, the the love you have for your team. So then I like I said I don't want to repeat myself, but I see that in a lot of shows there's a lot of restrictions, you know, and and most of the time the host is the one talking for two hours, and, and a lot of people you know they don't wanna they don't wanna hear that they. They want to speak up and they want to let everybody know what is going on. And there are different opinions, man. There's going to be different opinions on all kinds of things. So a lot of times if the host has got a, a particular opinion on a player or a team or on a subject, and, and a lot of people are not, um, they're not, uh, they don't agree with it, then, you know, they, they pretty much, they don't have to do, they, they can't do anything about it. They just pretty much start to be stuck there and listen to the show if they want to so that's pretty much my concept and my idea about the show just kind of create a platform for Raider Nation and let it speak up and that's why it's called Raiders Voice that's going to be the voice of the Raiders so that's, that's to me it's alright you know be able to speak up and, and give your opinion about your team so and that's we'll cool man happens. that's cool you know yeah. I like that's basically what I'm trying to do Except, well, I guess what I'm trying to do is share what made me a Raider fan through my channel and then find out what makes you a Raider fan and then share that too. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And, you, and everybody wants to share it. But if you're in the chat, you can't share it. There's like a, a thousand, you know, chats and, and, and the host cannot read the whole thing. Yeah. So then, you know, I don't know how is that going to work. Maybe I'll come up with like a two hour, two hour show, three hour show. Who knows? Depends on the the demand of the, of the fans, you know. So I'm gonna try to give them as much as I can, because you know, 
I don't do this for a living, but you know, I do it with, with a lot of love and thinking about, you know, my fandom. So, so it's okay. exciting, man. I'm excited about it. Uh, okay. I've been working on it for uh, a few months, and uh, there's a couple of things that I'm waiting on still, but you know, I want to do it right, and it might be a good timing. Maybe by the time preseason starts, then I can start a show. We'll see. All right, cool, cool. Well, that's cool, man. I mean, you got a lot to say, and that's that's awesome. So, you know, your YouTube channel is, of course, called Raiders Voice. You know, obviously, your videos are about the Raiders, but tell the Raider Nation what makes your channel different from other channels. Um, well, my sh- my my channel it's got uh, videos that I edit with uh, content from other people or other other videos for Raiders content, and. Uh, I just want to come up with a different type of content, you know, because you go to 10 different channels and everybody's either analyzing the players, analyzing the plays. They are, um, you know, just kind of like replaying what is going on in the news or just pretty much just giving out opinions. Um, and so my channel is a little bit different. What I try to be creative and I try to relate what Raiders is into different other subjects and into different other things. And yeah, because I see a lot of your videos include, you know, clips from movies. You know, a lot of them are just uh, photo, uh, what do you call them, damn it? The, uh, well, you just see photo after photo. I can't remember the name of it, but, you know, then you have a message at the end. Yeah, slideshow. A lot of your videos have slideshows, you know, and it, with a message at the end of the video, you know, protect the shield or whatever, you know, and some of them are funny, like the one where you had what it's like being a Raider fan with a dude's wearing a hat, you know. Oh, so, you like that one? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so I, I made it specifically for Raiders. All the, all the videos are Raider related a little bit or a lot. And, and like I said, I try to, I'm just trying to come up with content that is not out there and, and it's different. And, you know, and some people don't, they don't get it and some people do. But, um, I just, a lot of times, you know, if I, if I, if I get feel, uh, if I get bad neg- uh, bad feedback, and I still respect it because, you know, they have the right to give their feedback. They, you know, they're going to like it or they're not going to like it. And I always, I used to get frustrated, but then one time I, I, I remember I watched a video of uh, Ice Cube and Ice Cube, they were, they were, they were, they were asking Ice Cube, do you ever, do you ever get nervous or concerned about the content or the music that you, that you, you know, come up with? Are you concerned that people are not going to like it? And then, and then he, what he said kind of got me. He said, he said, the way I see it is, I see myself as, a, as an artist or as a painter. And I do, the, I do the painting, I finish the painting, and I just throw it out there. And somebody's going to look at it, and then somebody's going to like it, and then about some other person might not like it, some other person will like it a lot. And I just, I just go with it and let it go. He said, I just throw it out there, and I don't worry about it. So that's what I normally do. I come out with an idea. I try to come out with a concept. And uh, I try to get it done. And and I just throw it out there. And if you like it, you know, I'm happy about it. And if you don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for you watching the video. So, you know, so that's how it is pretty much. All right, cool. Well, you've been advertising that you're about to go live on your channel. So... I'm right. assuming that's what you're talking about by preseason, the, the show that you're going to have by the preseason. So uh, your live show is going to be daily or weekly, you know, and tell us what your plans are for your live stream. Like, what would you yeah. be talking about? Are you just going to field calls? That, you're working to field calls or what would yeah, the live so stream be? It's going to be a live uh, live show. And because a lot of people don't know me, I might ha- I might do it after every every game. And then after it, it, it started became, becoming popular, I will start doing it more often or, or longer, you know, more often, more days. If I can't do it every day, I'll try to make some space if it's, you know, if, if the demand is, is, is that high. And uh, the, the points on my show will be 
It's a live show specifically for Raider Nation. There's, there's not going to be no restrictions. I'm not going to block you. Even if you call me and say, you know, you're an effing idiot and, and I don't like your show, you have your right to speak up and you have your right not to like my show or, or not to like something about the Raiders and I will respect you no matter what because that's that's something that we have. That, see, think, think about it. As a, as a fan, a lot, of, a lot of fans, I see them on the media or on the radio and they say, oh yeah, we're going to trade this and we're going to do that and you may, you get mad when somebody, something else happens that you don't like but in reality, we don't have the power to make those decisions. You know, you can do your fantasy football, fantasy, fantasy, how do you say it? Fantasy, fantasy football. football. And, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you can make decisions there, but when you're talking about the real team, you can't make decisions. You, you can get angry or happy about it, but there's no, that's all you can do. So then I thought about, you know, what as a, as a fan do we have as, that we can, that we have power of? So I said, you know, I said, you know, our voice. Our voices are power. Our, vo our voices is something that we can control, whether it's for the negative or the positive. So then I said, you know what? I gotta come out with a platform so Raider Nation can speak up and 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 and, and say whatever they want to say. So so it's gonna be a um, it's gonna be an uncensored show. It's gonna be live. There's gonna be phone calls. The show is not about me. I'm just gonna be the host. The show is gonna be about Raider Nation. The, the whole show is going to be about the team, uh, the, the fandom. And as soon as the intro finish, man, I'm going to be waiting for phone calls. And people are going to come up. And, and, and I'm not going to have a, 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 an agenda or a, a script. So if you want to call and, and just, you know, give a shout out to Raider Nation. If you want to call up and, and talk about what, how the team is doing. You want to talk about analytics. You know, it's 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 a free sh it's, a, it's 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 open. It's, it's open to whatever you want to do. You want to talk about the, the the channel. You want to talk about the team. You want to talk about whatever you want to talk about. You will be open to, and and you'll have the freedom to say whatever you want to say, regardless. So that's my concept, and and I'm gonna try to do live phone calls. I will have a phone number, and. Uh, and then maybe later on we can do FaceTime, you know. Maybe maybe I can I can see the, the fan face to face when when even he or she is giving their opinion. So that's pretty much what the what the main points of the show will be. And then obviously as we go, you know, I'll make some changes or adjustments. But that's pretty much what it is, man. All right, cool. All right, well, look, it seems like all your hard work is paying off. Tell the Raider Nation who your new sponsor is and tell us what it means to you and your channel. Uh, well, um, I'm in talks with uh, Perry, the new owner from uh, Dead Pirate Sports, and, um, and he, we already had a, a verbal agreement that maybe we can work, we're going to be working together. And, and he might be, you know, sponsorship, we're doing sponsorship in the, in the, in the near future. And, uh, and it's all about, it's, it's just for, you know, for, all for Raider Nation. And, um, and then the last one, the last question was, tell us what it means to you and your channel. What it, what it means to my channel, it's a confirmation of the hard work that I've been doing. You know, because you can only get a sponsor if you're good at, at doing something, or if you're doing something, you know, productive. So it feels like, it feels that when you're getting a sponsor, means that you're making progress and you're moving up and you're, you know, you're accomplishing things. And it's just not for my own personal gain, but for Raider Nation. Because mainly I do all this for, for Raider Nation all the videos and, and the project of the channel and other stuff that, that, that it will be a couple, you know, I got a couple surprises for the channel too. And awesome. so that's pretty much what it means, man. All right, well, congratulations on your success. You've represented the Raider Nation with pride and poise and a commitment to excellence, and it shows. <laughs> well, thank you for that. No problem, all right. So I saw that you went to the Raider Fan Convention. How cool is it to have all those players and super fans show up in your area every year? 
She, man, when I got there, I felt like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's seriously. I wish I wish they could do this every month. It's it's amazing to see all the fans and all the people having the same the same uh, 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 fandom as you. You know, meeting all these great people and it's amazing, man. It's kind of like when you go to Disneyland. I feel that I feel that when I went there. So tell the Raider Nation what it was like talking to Fu at the Raider Fan Convention. It's great, man. He's he's a great guy. I met his wife too, and you know we had a it's, it's just a short conversation, but you know he, he doesn't have nothing but love for every for all the fans, and uh, and he even you know signed my uh, sign me a, a a picture with him and and John Gruden wearing like a bow jersey, so that was pretty pretty great, <laughs> and uh, and then he. Um, After after you know after the sh the show continued the, the the convention, he went on stage and 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 started talking about the and and I I never heard this before. Uh, he started talking about the black hole and the meaning of the black hole. And in in my in what what I knew about that was that back in the 70s, you know, I was Star Wars was the real popular. Yeah. And the Raiders were popular. So they kind of like integrated like the, you know, the darkness and the, e the being evil in the villains with Darth Vader and Star Wars. So Star Wars, you know, relates to space, space relates to the black hole. So I always thought that because of Star Wars, the black hole was pretty much like the black hole in space because of the Star Wars. But in, in reality, uh, that's, that's just what he said. And, and uh, said that the, or the origin of the name the Black Hole was created in the in the tailgate parking lot. Back in the day, a lot of people would go early in the morning and starting starting setting up uh, uh, all their stuff and all their tents and, and parking their cars. Early, and, and a lot of times they will start parking in the shape of a circle, you know right at the entrance of the of the parking lot so that circle would prevent everybody from leaving until the game was over so then as they started calling that circle of cars the black hole and so from there it started just kept progressing and progressing and he went to the stadium and now the stadium is called the black hole but he said that it, everything started in the parking lot which is a pretty great story which i've never heard before So it's, it's great, man. You also talked about <clears throat> the Immaculate Reception, and you know he was part of it, and he kind of gave us an idea of what went down, and and <clears throat> and what it was what it was like to be in, in that moment, and it was pretty great. And so, man, it's it's, it's nice. I'm I'm so happy I went there, so I can meet uh, uh, Bill Villapiano. And so <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Have you been to a game in Oakland? I've never been to a game in Oakland. Oh I've man, you to gotta get there, bro. You gotta get there. You just need I to know, see the tailgate for yourself, dude. It's fucking amazing. We are gonna go. We are gonna go for sure. We're, we're going to uh, uh, the first game. The first game for sure. Oh cool, <laughs> man, cool. I've been to I've been to games in San Diego, and I've been to games in Mexico, but never been to Oakland. Oh, that's bad my, my first year, man, so I'm excited, too. Fuck yeah. So maybe I'll see you over there. Who, see, <laughs> who knows? Well, I'm going to make it to Oakland this year, but I'm trying for the last game in Oakland. I got an idea yeah, I want to do. What game is that going to be? Uh, I, so I, don't think, I haven't looked yet. I don't, I don't think the schedule is out just yet. We just know okay. who we're playing. Okay. I know for sure there's going to be a preseason game here in uh, Phoenix. Go to it, man. They just said, I, I am for sure, man. Um, I think there's going to be the, the second preseason, and they're going to play against the Arizona Cardinals. So, so you'll see me there for sure. Cool. All right, cool. So at the Raider Fan Convention, you also got to meet the Violator and Gorilla Rilla. So what were they like? I did, man. It was like a dream come true. I, I, I always wanted to uh, meet him in person. I've seen him from far away, but I never had the chance to speak to them. And um, and they were like really nice, man. 
I'm, I'm, I'm happy that even though everything that is going on, they still rep the team. Uh, <clears throat> regarding to Violator, I heard, I heard from other people and on the news that he might not keep going to games. Because if, if a lot of people don't, don't know this, he travels to every game with his own money. Like in his car, he drives to if whatever state. If, if, if there, the game is in Arizona, he'll go to Arizona. If the game is in uh, Denver, he'll go to Denver. <clears throat> But I heard that he's not going to do it anymore. And I try to, you know, ask him about it. I said, you know, why, why the Raiders don't try to, like, help you out so you can go? So I'm not really sure because he didn't want to talk about that a lot. But all he said was, it's all about my pay grade. He said, so if, there's stuff, if there's stuff I, you know, I can't really talk about and there's nothing I can do on, uh, on a couple of specific things. So it, it, it'll be sad if you don't see Violator anymore. I wish, I wish. Uh, yeah, no shit, you're making me depressed you know, now, dude. Damn. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> But. He said that he's not going to go anymore. And, and I told him, I said, you know, Raider Nation can support you. But I don't know what's going on. I heard rumors, honestly. I heard rumors that the Raider management does not want tailgating on the new stadium anymore. And they don't want, they don't want all that black hole, you know, uh, uh, magic like oh, with all the super fans and, like, well Lincoln I was movies, listening you know? see I was listening to the Pillaging podcast and they, they had Lincoln Kennedy on there and he was saying that I think the whole NFL is moving in that direction that's why you don't see a lot of other tailgating in some of the other newer stadiums because they don't want people getting tanked up before they go in well, yeah but that's sad man Yeah, that's no, that, because, because, you know, the legends like, like the Violator. Them. Yeah, the legends like the Violator. They're, you know, who's going who's gonna to come after them if there's not in the tailgate, you know? I, I get that point. I know. Yeah. I don't know about Gorilla Rilla. He might, you know, keep, he might keep going to Vegas, to Vegas games. But I heard for sure Violator's not going to do it anymore. I asked him, I said, are you still going to go at least to the games? He said he will go to the games. That he might not go as a, as a violator. So that's, that's kind of sad, you know, for Raider Nation. But I guess that's life, man. And, and nothing is forever. You know, I'm, I'm sad about it, but it is what it is. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, no matter what stand. happens, man, the violator is going down as the most famous super fan of all time. I remember watching yeah, that. Man. I remember seeing that dude when I was a kid, like, or a teenager. Yeah. You know, I was like, man, royalty, that dude man. is He's awesome. The royalty. The, the royalty. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. and Darth it's, it's uh, yeah, Darth Raider, yeah, dude, it's, they've been around for a while. I, uh, you know, I miss that dude that used to have the safety pin through his head. That dude was awesome, man. I remember seeing him on one of the Monday night games. There's a lot of them, man. I know there's a lot of them that I don't see anymore. So, yeah, that, that, that part of, if, if that dies out in fandom, that's going to be a sad day, you know, the super fans. But I think they're going to figure it out, man. They know how to survive. They know how to do it. I know. So we'll see, man. Let's hope for the best. Oh, yeah. All right. So we know that you're the Raiders boys, but I want to find out why you're a Raider fan. So I'm going to ask you some basic questions about your fandom. All right? Okay. So who's your favorite Raider of all time? My favorite Raider of all time is Al Davis. Nice. Al Davis is the biggest Raider of all time over any other player, in my opinion. As a favorite player, I have different players. I always cheer for the team. I don't get as sad if, if a guy leaves the team because no matter what, the Raiders remain. But to me, the biggest Raider is Saul Davis, even though he never played. But, you know, the he was a coach, he was an owner, he's a godfather, he's everything. He is Raiders. No questions about it. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much my answer. Cool. All right. Um, what game did the Raiders lose that broke your heart the most? <laughs> you have time because there's a few. <laughs> if, I, if I can recall, if yeah, I can I recall time. one. Oh, man. 
it's got to be the Todd Rule. You go either that one or um, losing the Super Bowl in San Diego. Yeah, the O2 Super that, Bowl. That, that, it, still, it still hurts, man. I was, I was president in San Diego. And part of that, part of that, uh, the Super Bowl, after the Super Bowl, kind of like how I started my fandom for the Raiders, but, but if, uh, if I, if I can pick one game recently, it would have to be the Super Bowl. That's, that's a heartbreaker because we were the highest offense in the NFL with an MVP quarterback and we have Tim Brown and Jerry Rice. We should have smoked these fools, but But there was John Gruden. I, you know, you know what? I don't want to think about it. Me either. Uh, it, it, I don't want to think about it, but I, I think John Gruden had the, had the place because, because the, the uh, what is the other guy that stayed, uh, stayed after John Gruden left? Bill Callahan. Uh, Shanahan. Bill Callahan. Yeah. He never changed the place, and John Gruden knew all the place. Yeah. How in the world Gannon is going to get picked five times in the Super Bowl? Like he was a rookie, you know. He was the MVP. So anyway, and it, it, you should it, listen it, to Murph's uh, videos. You should listen to Murph's uh, videos with Randy Hansen. Uh, they talk about the O2 Super Bowl. Yeah, I I I, I, I saw I, I heard that video. Oh uh, yeah. I heard the, the show, and, and I'm telling you, man, I, we can't prove it, but if there's something fishy about it because <laughs> there's no way you should have loved that game. Well, you remember John Lynch? It. John Lynch. Is- John Lynch is, uh, you know, on video saying that they knew every play, everything John Gruden told them they were going to do, they were doing. Yeah, because yeah, I remember John Gruden kept playing, you know, yelling at the at the at the the defensive players, you know, just keep going, they're going to keep doing it, like they knew it, they knew it. So anyway, now it's see that's why I need I need John Gruden to win the Super Bowl, you know, soon, so I can let go of that. O2 if you season. truly, if you truly wanna love him as a Raider, he needs to win a Super Bowl. Because oh, I love him d- still us. though, because I mean, I remember Chucky yeah, but, when he was Chucky. You know. Yeah, but that's in the past, man. Think about it. Yeah, but it's he gonna happen in the future. Right now, it's gonna happen asterisk. now and in the future. There's a little, there's a little asterisk, asterisk uh, 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 right next to his name when you talk about the Raiders, because we should have had four Super Bowls already. But anyway, that's in the past, and so. That's that's pretty much a, a, a heartbreaker for me. Yeah. And so just gotta move on, and hopefully we can win one soon. All right. So what does being a Raider fan mean to you? Oh, that's a good question. Um, being a Raider fan feels like like I belong in a in a team that is like no other. A team that represents uh, underdogs, that represents minorities, that represents all kinds of, I mean, there's so many things, man. Uh, family, friendship. There's there's so many things that, that you can relate to Raiders that makes me want to be a Raider. I, I started developing all these feelings about my team, but it's... This is not how it all started. I mean, I wasn't born a Raider. Uh, you know, I I I read the Chargers jersey because of my favorite uh, fan, my favorite. I mean, uh, excuse me, my favorite player, Junior Seah. But then after that, you man, know, I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> okay, come to stop. <laughs> nah, go ahead. It means everything. It means it means being with an awesome team with awesome colors and uh, an awesome history and Super Bowls and all these great players that have been with the Raiders it's it's something that we got so much stuff that a lot of teams wish they had that's why they we get copied by other teams that's why other teams try to have the same colors as we do that's why other teams try to be cold nation as we do that's why a lot of teams want to relate as we relate because we got so much stuff that a lot of people don't have. You know, talking about the team. So that's pretty much it, man. Raider Nation. But because of the Raider Nation, we just we just stay together no matter what, you know. 
because, you know, Raider Nation's been going through a lot, you know. Uh, I, you know, in my opinion, I was, a, I was a Raider fan in San Diego when the Chargers were really good and the Raiders were really bad. And I still read my team and I used to get harassed and, and, and on bully and, and, and haze and everything. But you know what? I still read my team. I still read my colors and I endure and I embraced it. And, and it made me love my team even more. So that's what it, that is what is for me to be a Raider. Hey, well, the Raider Nation got the, it threw your revenge for you, man. When they went and invaded San Diego that last game. I know. Remember that? That was last Sunday. <laughs> do you see? Do you see the interviews of the Charger players after that game? Yeah, they couldn't believe they it. They, they said they never, they never seen this before. They couldn't believe it. Because even though San Diego, you know, the Charger were there. There's a lot of Raider fans. The Raider fans are everywhere, man. Oh, yeah. Raider fans in I California. I see them Raiders all Raiders. the time. Here everywhere. Everywhere. So, so that was fun. Just to stick it to them for one for the one, one last time. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, man. And, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, elaborating to how do I become a fan, this is pretty much how we went. I was in San Diego when the Raiders lost the Super Bowl. And at the time, I kind of liked Kenny Orsay I've been a Charger. So then I didn't really love the, the Chargers, but I just liked Junior Orsay. When in 03, when, when the Chargers got rid of Junior Orsay and the way they did it, they pretty much dumped them. Got me so pissed and so angry. Then I said, you know what? I'm going to stick it to you and I'm going to become a Raider fan. And that's how we all started. That, that Junior Orsay dump from the Chargers made me become a Raider fan. And now, I just, I love my team for many other reasons. So, everybody's got a, a little bit weird story. Not everybody's born a Raider fan, so. Hey, well you here, yeah. you're part of the Raider Nation now. I am, until I die, man, I'll keep, until I kick to my bucket. <laughs> cool, until the casket drops, right? Until the casket drops, until I hang my shoes. Yeah, <laughs> no matter what, man. All right, right, man. Well, thank you to be a Raider. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate your time. You know, is there anything else you'd like to promote? No Nothing. Just give you a shout out. I just want to, I want to thank you for uh, taking your time and, and doing an interview with me. I feel humble. You know, I feel like I'm nobody, but, you know, you thought that it was cool to give me an interview and I appreciate it. And I just want to give it a shout out to all Raider Nation. Nothing, nothing but love. And when you see my product, whether you like it or not, just think about this. I do it with a lot of love. I put a lot of hours into what I do. And it's all about representing the team in my own particular way. Yeah, so man. I mean, you, I mean, I think you're doing a good job, dude. It's an honor to, you know, talk to you. Like I said, we're the upstarts. You know, we need to stick together, help each other out. You know, I, you put me in Appreciate your, it. you put me in your autumn wind video, you know. So, hey, yeah, now you're going to go on my you're channel. Nation. See, I, it, see I'm, I'm not selfish. Honestly, I didn't want to even want to be in the video because it was all about Raider Nation. I just didn't have a lot of footage for, from other fans, which I, soon I will have. I will probably end up getting I'm making another uh, second uh, autumn win with more fans, but but it's all about you guys. It's about, like, everything I do is for you, for the Raider Nation, because all the love I have for the team and for the fans. So, all right, cool, man. Well, thanks again, bro, and I'll talk to you again, all right? All right, man. Raider Nation. Raider Nation for life. Always. For life. Peace out. Later.